Hello, and welcome to today's presentation, Get Paid in New Ways Online and Offline. First, we wanna thank everyone for taking time out of your busy day to join us. One quick housekeeping item before we start, we're gonna be running a live Q&A at the end of the webinar. So we've enabled the ask a question feature. It can typically be located right at the bottom of your Zoom dashboard via the Q&A icon. Feel free to use it at any time. And without further ado, I'd like to introduce you today to our presenter, Michael Chaplin. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Thank you all for joining the uh, PayPal Small Business Partner webinar series, our inaugural episode, Get Paid in New Ways, Online and Offline. Uh, I am your host, Michael Champlin, and to give a quick little intro into who I am, um, I've been with PayPal for about nine years now. I manage our Showcase Innovation Showcase program. Um, you can see a little bio for me right there, but basically what I've been doing for the past nine years with PayPal is learning, understanding all of our products, capabilities, and solutions, and providing in-depth briefings and demos of those products and solutions, which is precisely why I'm hosting this series. Um, and this series is really focused on providing small business owners with tools, resources, to not only adapt and try to survive in a rapidly changing commerce environment and landscape, but really to grow and thrive uh, both online and offline. So today, what we're going to be covering, we'll do a quick little look at the state of the industry, um, but some of the tools that PayPal is providing, we're gonna go through today, including, as you can see on your screen right there, PayPal buttons, um, getting that enabled up and running and accepting payments on your website, um, how you can sell also on social media, and take advantage of the opportunities where consumers are already shopping, where their eyes already are, um, reaching out to consumers through invoicing and our QR code solution, which is now available and able to accept payments offline as well as businesses are looking more and more for contactless solutions for selling. So getting started and looking at uh, the state of our industry today, you can see that Buying behavior has certainly changed, and I'm sure everybody on this call is well aware of that. Over 20% of surveyed respondents said their frequency of purchasing goods online has increased. And that 20%, let's be real about this, it's, it's not just due to COVID, it's not just due to the events of, of this year, but that's a trend that we've been seeing growing rapidly over the past few years, which is where PayPal can come in and assist small businesses. We have the solutions, we have the tools, and we've had those tools building and evolving for the past 20 years to help you sell securely online. And now we're going to look at some of the things that we can help you to expand your reach as well. Jumping straight into it now, I'm going to click over. I'm thanking you for my intro apparently right there. And as I click straight over, we're going to look at what some of those resources are and how you can manage your business site uh, through your PayPal business account. We're gonna be logging into our business account right here. Uh, if you don't have a business account already with PayPal, it's simple and easy. It takes a few minutes most, top level business information and connecting a bank account. And within minutes, you can get set up with your own account that would look very similar to our dashboard loading on the screen right now. This is for our make it fit business. Uh, this might be a, a personal fitness trainer. We have Samantha who started her business with PayPal. And as you can see on her dashboard here, she has the simple and, and easy access to all of the tools and resources for um, high level management of her business, clearly managing uh, her balance, money goes in, money comes out. We're gonna get to invoices in a little bit how she might be able to send money, obviously, requesting, and then of course, tracking all of her activity. Jumping straight into what those tools that are available through PayPal right now to get you up and running and selling on your website, we're gonna look into our App Center, which you can see right here, you're gonna have all of the, the access in your business across the top toolbar here, 
And one of the features that we brought in recently through our commerce platform is the quick link uh, box that you see right here at the top. So the aspects of your business that you access most frequently, you can have a quick link and jump straight over to that from your homepage. And we're gonna take a quick look at the app center that provides that hub for all of those resources through our commerce platform. Obviously, you're gonna see some of the uh, more frequent accepting payments, making payments, how to accelerate growth, streamlining your operations. Um, and again, you could take any of these squares, any of these boxes through the App Center and put them as a quick link on the homepage of your business account. But let's go straight into accepting payments. Um, that's why we're here. That's why PayPal exists. So how can we help you accept payments on your website? How quick and easy can we do this? Well, we've got the button here where we can go directly into checkout. We're gonna look at invoicing a little bit later, but if we wanna click a little further over and see a few more of those tools that are available for the small business owners, you can see obviously how you can sell directly on your website with checkout or subscriptions. Um, you can take those payments at point of sale and we have the solutions for that. Look through the virtual terminal. We'll get to selling on social in a little bit. For right now though, wanna see how to accept those first payments on your website? Let's jump straight in and look, out, look at setting up that checkout experience. I'm gonna click on the tab right here. Getting those PayPal buttons up and running on your website, as I'm gonna take you through right now, literally takes as long as what I'm about to show you. Setting up the checkout, checkout experience, you're going to have the option of how you want those buttons presented on your website, and PayPal is going to give you all of the tools available so you can choose what shape you want your button, what color you would like your button. Would you like to have the tagline included uh, next to the buttons on your website? Powered by PayPal is the tagline that we're referring to right there. The brand of PayPal, as hopefully everybody here uh, understands, that brand of PayPal to consumers, to buyers online and offline means trust. So even if a consumer is coming in and choosing to pay with a debit or credit card, just seeing that the payments are powered by PayPal adds an extra layer of trust in the mind of a consumer and leads to greater conversion rates. We're going to simply be adding what we see right here, that button to our website. How do I go about doing that? I don't know a lot about coding personally, but if I have a simple copy code step right here, that has now just copied to my uh, desktop the code that I need to put those buttons on my website. All I have to do is go over to that website in code editor view, and that's going to be uh, through whomever is, is providing hosting for your website. We're gonna simply choose where we want it, and within a couple of seconds, that button is going to be active. I'm gonna go back over to the Make It Fit site. That's the business that we're running here today. And uh, Samantha, our small business owner, uh, decided she wants to start selling smoothies uh, on her website. So she's gonna choose that product right here, select where it is she wants those buttons to appear. Always best to put those buttons next to the product that you're selling. I'm going to simply paste that code that I copied from the PayPal business account site apply that code. It's going to appear as the button right here. Clearly I can then move that around and find exactly where I want it placed. But as soon as I'm satisfied, I apply that. That button is now live and available for consumers to come in and purchase those smoothies as simple as that. Obviously you have the PayPal account holders that are gonna be able to go in and pay with PayPal or those who come in again and use the debit or credit card. And now that's active on your site. It truly is as simple as that. So within minutes, you could start selling on your own site with PayPal. Now this is talking about your website. What if we want to expand beyond the website? It's another one of the pieces that we wanted to address today with consumers spending more and more time on uh, whether it's a mobile device or a tablet or on their laptop or desktop, scrolling through social media being able to bring those buttons for your products 
to the eyes where consumers already are on social media channels, let's go ahead and let's create, going back into the App Center, a quick product listing for selling on social media. Again, I'm back in my PayPal business account App Center page right here, and I'm gonna set up a listing to sell some products. Let's say we're gonna sell on Facebook today. I'm going to decide which products that I want to add. Again, as we've seen, Samantha is really pushing her smoothies today. So we're gonna set up a product listing for smoothies. Um, you're gonna be able to choose your picture. You can choose up to three pictures actually right now to uh, connect to your product listing. You're gonna choose your product name, description, price, fill that in all simply as you'd like to. Um, free shipping, flat rate shipping, you can choose the taxes. I create that listing. It's simple, it's prepared. The link is now ready for me to share on social media or get that direct link and send it out to consumers if they wanna purchase through that link that you provide. Obviously we see the quick button right here for Facebook. Uh, you'll also very likely see if you go into your App Center now, into your product listing page, a quick link to sell on Twitter as well. Um, but once I get that, let's say I am going to be selling directly to Facebook right now. I'm going to get that little preview as I'm putting a post together on Facebook, see what it look like. And as soon as I do post that to Facebook, anyone who's coming in to my, or excuse me, this is not what they're going to see. Thank you, internet, for joining me. This is live. This is a live demo happening right here. Um, and of course, my internet connection is gonna be coming down right now. But simply all we're gonna be able to see in just a moment right here is that product listing. So as we get our consumers in um, looking onto our website or onto their Facebook feed, they're going to be able to see that product listing available to them. Give me just one second. I've got the link back up and ready right now. I'm creating that post. Hopefully the internet is going to cooperate with me right now. Selling on social, we're going to be able to see that post in just a moment right here. And I'll take this opportunity as the page is loading up. Here we go. Um, just to remind you that any uh, questions that you have, you can submit through the Zoom link right there. And in a few moments, we're going to be having a full Q&A session around this. So here we see uh, Facebook feed. Uh, if I have let's say uh, a consumer popping through here. Emily is coming through here. She sees the listing for protein shakes from Make It Fit. She wants to see what that's about. She clicks straight on through here, can find the description and buy right now, right there on the Facebook platform or on Twitter or through that link that you are providing. Truly as simple as that. I'm gonna come back in here because another way that obviously businesses oftentimes reach out to consumers um, is directly. So if you have a consumer and uh, they subscribe to the, your mailing list, or if you have them uh, with an email address, you can directly invoice them to their uh, email account that's on file with you. So I'm gonna go straight in again, back in our uh, business account in the invoice section here, I'm going to create a simple invoice. I'm going to again, fill out the terms, the notes, the price, the quantity, et cetera as I see fit, send that directly out to those uh, customers that I'm selling to. And in their inbox right here, we're gonna be able to see the invoice is received from Make It Fit. They're gonna find it right there in their account. Emily is gonna be able to open up that invoice. And best of all, this is not going to take her out of her experience right here. She's gonna be able to use that link right here in her email to pay that invoice. And of course, she's gonna have the option to do so uh, with her PayPal account, or if she wants to use a credit card, just as we saw associated with the checkout buttons on your merchant page, she's going to be able to use her credit card if she wants to do that as well. And then finally, for selling directly right now, as we start to see uh, businesses returning to the in-store experience, something that people are more and more focused on right now, obviously we're, addressing uh, all of your online e-commerce solutions for payments. But something that people more and more are focused on is when I go back into the in-store environment, how do I ensure that consumers are safe? 
How do I regain their trust? How do I provide them with a contactless solution for paying in store? And that's why we've released QR codes for in-store selling. And as you can see right here, with that QR code, if you use that in-store today, if you have it associated um, either at, at connected, either at point of sale, um, or maybe print out a QR code and put it up on your window. If you're selling in-store with QR codes through the end of July, there are going to be uh, no seller fees whatsoever. You're going to get 100% of that transaction. To enable that QR code, again, you simply go into your PayPal account, your business account, and you generate your own QR code. Each QR code is unique. So once you generate yours, that's going to be the QR code that's assigned to your business. You can use it, you can download it, you can print it out. Um, we have a lot of businesses that if we're selling, let's say for instance, at a, at a farmer's market, might just have it available in uh, their photos on their mobile device so they can simply hold it up. And when a consumer comes through, whether it's on a mobile device, or as I mentioned, if it's printed up on uh, the window of your business or printed right next to your point of sale, all a consumer needs to do is scan that QR code and this is going to connect them to their PayPal account. Important to understand that yes, this is a way for uh, PayPal consumers to pay. This is going to bring you into your PayPal experience, uh, open up the app and prompt you to pay the business whose QR code you just scanned. As the consumer, you're going to type in the amount that you're paying, just like taking that money out of your wallet, because in fact, what you are doing is taking that money from one of the connected funding sources inside of your PayPal digital wallet. So here, uh, as a consumer, I'm gonna be using my uh, default payment mechanism, which is my bank account. I can follow that arrow right here and change based on whatever funding instruments as a consumer I have stored in my PayPal account. This is exactly how I want to pay that $20 to make it fit today for the two smoothie packs. I'm gonna pay that. And as simply as that, I have now paid the merchant. It happens instantly. And just like with any other PayPal transaction, a consumer paying you as a business, you're getting that payment immediately. So we've gone through today, a uh, simple setup with buttons on, on your website being able to extend selling from your website into social media or using that link to sell wherever you want to reach out to your consumers, invoicing directly uh, to consumers, uh, and with our new QR code solution, being able to now extend those safe, secure, contactless payment experiences to your in-store environment as well. So that's going to uh, wrap up just the quick portion, uh, demo portion of our webinar for today. Obviously, um, you can go and get started right there at paypal.com, but we're gonna take about the next uh, uh, almost 10 minutes uh, to answer a few questions. I see that there are a number of questions coming into our chat. So, and with participants raising hands, I am going to do my best to answer any and all questions that uh, we have time for today. So Catherine, do we have any that <laughs> yes, I was just about to jump in. So we have a few questions. I'll start with the questions around QR codes since you just covered QR codes. Um, are QR codes only for in-person purchases? Uh, in fact, right now, uh, they were designed specifically for in-person. Um, there are instances where you could use it online. Um, it, it's... it's uh, it's something that if you were to take a picture, but it, it wouldn't necessarily be the most efficient way to do it. If you're selling through another platform, uh, again, online, uh, through a social media channel or directly through an email, it could be done. But again, the consumer would have to have a PayPal account. This is really designed much, much more so for the in-store experience. Um, you might see in the next, uh, you know, in the coming months, some further solutions around QR code that might extend more so into the online environment. Great, and then follow up to that question, um, can a consumer use a QR code without having a PayPal account? 
So um, the QR codes are designed for PayPal and Venmo users. So that QR code will open up the payment experience for PayPal or Venmo. This will not be able to redirect to a direct credit card, however, so this is a PayPal or a Venmo account holder that would be able to use those QR codes specifically. Okay, um, moving on to selling on social. So when I sell on social, who will see my post? Uh, anybody who's coming through uh, and is either following you or discovering you for the first time, they might look through your business site on uh, any social media channel that you have. They'll be able to see that posting either through their own feed if they're following you or if they go to your merchant page on Facebook, Twitter, whatever it may be. Okay. Um, similar questions about consumers having PayPal accounts. So does a consumer need to have a PayPal account to use it on my website? They would need it to pay with PayPal. Um, and if consumers don't already have a PayPal account, they could set it up just as quickly as you would set up your business account. Uh, but as we saw on the buttons, there's also acceptance for a debit or credit card connected to those buttons. So they can pay with a debit or a credit card as well. Okay. And how quickly will I get paid when a shopper uses PayPal? So uh, the, the, one of the things that I've always most loved uh, about how payments work with merchants is as soon as we evaluate the risk in the middle of the transaction and we approve a transaction, businesses get paid immediately. We wait and we settle up with a customer on our end. That's part of our risk model that's, that's built into every single transaction um, that we uh, are powering through PayPal, businesses get paid immediately. Okay, great. Um, there's a few questions about risk protection. So from a uh, high level standpoint, what type of risk protection does PayPal provide the merchant? From a high level, um, you as a seller get 100% seller protection through PayPal. If you're a PayPal business and you accept PayPal, we provide 100% seller protection um, against any uh, fraudulent uh, transactions going through. Okay. Um, those are the questions that I have on my side. All right. Um, I uh, think that we're getting close to time. We have probably about two minutes. So if there are any more questions that are going to be coming in, I see that some participants have raised hands. I see about well, close to 40 um, questions and there we just hit 40 in on the Q&A se section. So I'm wondering, Catherine, if you're able to see those and find I, a relevant question. Okay, um, I, I'm going to uh, just see super quickly if I'm able to find any Q&A. Um, we have a lot here. Um, if you have a personal account, um, you will have to set up a separate business account that will be connected to your business. I see that uh, Debbie asked the question, if she has a personal account, can she convert that to a business account? Uh, you would actually have to set up a new business account. Um, and it's, it's, it's very simple to do that. Um, but you would have two separate accounts. Um, see, somebody used buttons on their website in the past and it worked great. Well, thank you for that. We're certainly hoping that. Um, and unless there's something filtered through, Catherine, um, can I allow customers to add several items to a cart before submitting the cart items to PayPal or a single payment? Absolutely. Absolutely. When you're selling on your website, you can build um, a full checkout cart experience build that cart. And truthfully, that's one of the beauties of PayPal when that trust is there. Um, oftentimes you're going to see, most oftentimes you're going to see increased um, AOV um, as well as number of items added to a cart. Um, as far as a recording for this, uh, will this recording be available later on? Please, can you share this recording or a couple of questions that I see right here? You are going to be receiving a follow-up correspondence after the webinar has completed, which is in just about a minute or so. Um, and there will be um, links and uh, addresses where you can access both the uh, webinar after this is complete, as well as um, full resources as a business owner connected to our uh, business resource center. So all of those links will be coming to you. Um, and 
that should be shortly after we uh, finish the webinar. I think that um, that is about all the time that we have for today. Um, Catherine, unless there's anything else, I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, thank everyone very much for, for coming, for attending today. Again, this is the first in our webinar series. Uh, you're going to see some more announcements and some more invites coming your way with some of our partners to help small businesses. And uh, once again, thank you very much. Stay safe, be well, take care.